So NBA Commissioner Adam Silver does have a set of marbles. Yesterday, he dropped the lifetime ban on Toronto Raptors Jonte Porter for betting on a couple Toronto Raptors games. That's right. Jonte Porter is the latest individual to have a lifetime ban assessed to him by the NBA. Now, the details, well, they're pretty self-explanatory. Jonte Porter was gambling on NBA games. Uh, when the news broke, the association was investigating Porter for betting irregularities surrounding two Raptors games. So Adam Silver grew a set and booted Porter out of the NBA for life on Tuesday, April 17th. Good for him. Now, in a release by the NBA's PR... There's nothing more important than protecting the integrity of the NBA competition for our fans, our teams, and everyone associated with our sport, which is why Jonte Porter's blatant violations of our gaming rules are being met with the most severe punishment. Well, duh. I mean, do you really want it out there that, um, you know, if a player's betting and gambling on NBA games that they're not suspended for life? I mean, that would just be, you know, be like professional wrestling then. I mean, really, if you don't suspend guys, then the uh, behavior doesn't stop. And if the behavior doesn't stop and games are being fixed because a bunch of guys are betting on games, then, yeah, you just become the WWE. You might as well just write storylines for NBA games. Adam Silver continued, while legal sports betting creates transparency that helps identify suspicious or abnormal activity, this matter also raises important issues about the sufficiency of regulatory framework currently in place, including the types of bets offered on our games and players. This thought is a little harder for me to weigh in on. Well, yeah, because, you know, not only can you bet on games, but you could also bet on individual players and what they do in games. I mean, that's, that's the daily fantasy aspect of this. While player props are a fun way to bet on team sports, I'm open to the idea that it creates more ways for players to involve themselves in match fixing. It does, really, when you think about it. They could literally bet on themselves. Or, I don't know, place a bet on somebody on the other team. The intel Porter provided to an NBA better about his health status for a March 20th game was used as a free square by that better in a same-game parlay. Porter's actions were next-level stupid. The association stated Porter placed at least 13 bets on NBA games using the associate's online betting account. These bets ranged for, in size from $15 to $22,000 for a total of $54,094. Total payout from these bets was $76,059, resulting in a net winnings of $21,965. Which, by the way, ended his career. So this guy made millions and millions of dollars playing basketball in the NBA, and he loses his career over a measly $21,965. You got to be freaking dumb to do that. Maybe the unnamed NBA better was paying Porter for information. However, Jonte's brother, Michael Porter Jr., is a starter for the reigning NBA champion Denver Nuggets. So Jonte wouldn't have never ended up broke. Yet he tarnished his, the NBA's, and possibly his brother's Michael's reputations for money that wouldn't have changed his life. 
No. 21K. I mean, it may change somebody's life, $21,000, nearly $22,000. But for an NBA player, 21K, that's jump change. In the most egregious move made by Porter in this whole thing, he bet that the Raptors would lose. Dude, that's Pete Rose-esque. Sorry, but it is. Granted, Porter didn't play in any of the Toronto games he bet on. But still, betting on your team to lose is beyond scummy. If I was his teammate and found out that he was betting on our games and betting for us to lose, dude, bro. Surprise he didn't end up beat up somewhere. Seriously. As interesting as it is to talk about the story, I'll leave it to the internet, which remains undefeated, to, ju to dunk on John Tay. John Tay. That's Jeff Clark from Outkick. Now I just gotta say, this is this is next level dumb. Okay? If you're a professional athlete, you shouldn't be anywhere near gambling. Look what we just threw with uh, Otani and his former interpreter. And the money his former interpreter was in the hole for, for sports betting. And now you have this. <clears throat> All professional athletes don't bet on sports. Don't even, don't even give it a whiff. Just don't do it. Save yourself a bunch of headache. Save yourself a bunch of trouble down the road. Just don't do it. So what do you guys think? Do you think this penalty is just right handed down by Adam Silver, or do you think he hasn't gone far enough? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, as always, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch, the time to tune in, and I will see you guys in the next one.